in the Sfaradi, certainly at least the Middle Eastern Sfaradi uh, Minhag, there is a, when we take the Sefer Torah out of the Hecha, there we have the Rimonim, which are the bells, right? The silver, you know, the silver. And we usually will give that to a child. A lot of times we give that to a child to be able to crown the Sefer Torah. And uh, and there's a rule, there's like an unspoken rule, right? That, that the person who's holding the Sefer Torah is not allowed to lower the Sefer to the child so the child can put the Rimonim on the Sefer. You have to lift the child up to the Sefer so that they can put the, the Rimonim on the Torah. And that is an analogy in general, right? We don't lower the Brit. We don't lower the Torah to somebody who's not yet able to reach it. We either lift them up, right? We give them boosts, right? We give them give them step stools to be able to get there, or we wait till they grow to the point that they're able to do it. But we don't lower it in order to be able to get to the people. And that's a very important principle that people forget. And sometimes I'm concerned that people do that in their eagerness to be able to give people connection. They lower these bars, right? They lower the, the values in order to be able to have, have access rather than a, a, assisting and escorting towards the, the higher level that people can get to. And we don't want to do that. We don't want to cheapen it that way.